At the age of 13, some 20 years before Elvin Ray Jones blazed a trail for all jazz drummers as a member of the John Coltrane Quartet, he was practicing 10 hours a day. The young Elvin Jones was inspired by his musical brothers, Hank and Thad, and went nowhere without a pair of drumsticks in his pocket. In 1956, he came to New York, and as legend has it, he was there to audition for a new Benny Goodman band. Instead, he ended up playing with Charlie Mingus, and later touring and recording with Bud Powell, Sonny Rollins, Stan Getz, and countless others. By 1960, his innovative style and formidable influence began to be recognized. After leaving Miles Davis in 1960, John Coltrane was touring in San Francisco with his new group. But he wasn't hearing the sound he wanted. Something was missing. The sound he wanted was that of Elvin Jones. Coltrane, in collaboration with fellow members McCoy Tyner, Jimmy Garrison, and Elvin, basically reorganized jazz and took it way beyond bebop. The group expanded musical harmony with its modally based inventions, and with Jones at the percussive helm, once and for all freed and expanded the function of the jazz drummer to that of an equal partner in the improvisational process. The John Coltrane Quartet stands among the most influential musical groups in history. Elvin said, right from the beginning to the last time we played together, it was something pure. The most impressive thing was a feeling of steady collective learning. If there is anything like perfect harmony in human relationships, that band was as close as you can come. Recordings of Elvin's work with Coltrane, including My Favorite Things, Live at the Village Vanguard, A Love Supreme, Crescent, and many others are jazz library essentials even to this day. Introducing polyrhythms, cross rhythms, independently shifting accents, and advanced melodic motifs to his deep swinging groove, Elvin virtually reinvented the very concepts of drumming. As a soloist and accompanist, the influences of African rhythms were always evident, and along with Art Blakey, he successfully and effortlessly applied them to jazz. His dear friend and fellow honoree Louis Belson said it best. There's no doubt that when you hear Elvin, it can only be Elvin Jones. He is Mother Earth coming alive with syncopation. The man has his own technique and his own way of playing. He plays his own interpretation of rhythm, but he's a hardcore swinger. He can just sit down and lay it down. Elvin Jones has been laying it down long since his five-year revolutionary tenure with Coltrane. He continues to compose, discover, and nurture new talent, to create with the fierce intensity that is the hallmark of his singular style and personality. His rhythmic independence is seen as the ultimate standard by which all other drummers are measured, which affords them continual and limitless inspiration. Once said, playing is not something I do at night. It's my function in life. 
Elvin Ray Jones has more than fulfilled his life's function and will always remain Mother Earth coming alive with syncopation. <laughs> 